Hi, I'm Will from Hashel Dash, and today I'm very excited to show you my project. So I will start the devlog on my programming language. So let's take a look at it. What are the expectations for this language and all of that. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let me give you a taste of this language, what it looked like. So let's do a simple hello world. Okay, let me share my screen. Before I show you my language, let's take a look at other languages so you have to see the expectations that I have for this language. Okay, so let's try first with C. So hello.c, then you have to pound include stdio.h, then int main, you have to create this main function, print f, then we type hello world backslash n and finish with a semicolon. Okay, right, let's compile this code and then we have the a.out uh, file that we can execute and print hello world. Okay, this is the process of creating a C file, a C source code and converting to an executable and then seeing the result of the problem you're trying to solve. And well, this is some work. And if you look at Java, <laughs> main.java, you have to name it main.java, uh, then you have to know public, class, main, public stack, void, main, string. There is a lot of stuff here that you have to type just to print hello world, right? And then you call java c main.java and then you can java and execute the main class. And you have the result of your program. So you see, with this language, there's a lot of boilerplate, there's a lot of uh, details that you have to understand before you start even <laughs> with the basic hello world program and what I, I think of let's see python now so in python you call it whatever you want python.py then you print hello world so imagine a beginner trying to learn this language. This is a lot easier and beginners can learn simple things at a time and this is awesome for beginners. And Python is a very, po a very powerful language and to do the same work, to have the same result, you, it's just easier. And that's what I aim for WLang. It's called WLang, but I'm, I think I would change to Photon in the future. So I will say WLang for now, but in the future I may change the, the language name to Photon. Okay. So this is uh, where I want to start, to make a simple language easy for beginners. So in WLang you can say whatever dot W and you can do print hello world. Simple as that, then you call wlang, the command wlang, the name of your file, and voila, you have the same result. So the first thing I have in mind is simplicity. The code must be very simple to use, very simple to understand. And now let's take a look at performance. So Python is great for solving problems, but let's take a look at how it does, <laughs> how it performs. So let's edit the Python file here. Let me call, uh, let me try to make a variable zero, okay, for i in range. Let me loop this for one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, a million times, more, more tree here. And then we 
sum this value and then we print an A. Okay, we'll loop many times. <laughs> So let's try to run this and I will, I will have the command time here, python, python.py. Okay, let's time it. Let's see how much it takes to execute this code. So imagine you are trying to solve a problem and you have to execute a loop with thousands or millions uh, of iterations. So this is taking a while, okay. Oh, that it's taking a lot of time. <laughs> um, let's be patient. I don't know how much time it will take. Okay, you see the problem here. Python is very easy, but you have to wait a lot for it to <laughs> execute. So I will cancel this because I don't know how much <laughs> more time you have to wait. Oh, let's make it, okay, let's try to, to keep it executing <laughs> and then, okay, I will go to this uh, folder, so, okay, dev log, dev one, okay, let's try to do the same thing. So I just copy Python, the Python code and to W and W, okay, it finishes, it took a minute, <laughs> 14 seconds. Okay, let's do the same thing in W. So you do that. We can start at zero, go all the way through this number, then print A, okay. Let's try to execute that. And it just <laughs> executes. It's immediately, you see? Let me time it, main.w. And it's, it's, oh, it command not found, sorry. It's W, okay. So, you have to wait a minute and 50 seconds for Python and uh, 10 for that, like 0 0.1 seconds for WLang. And you see the, the source code for Python and for main.w. You see, you have to type the same thing <laughs> and it just in a blink of an eye, you have the same result. So this is another thing that I have in mind for this language uh, that I want to optimize the code, the execution, and I will have the simplicity of Python and the performance of C or whatever language uh, the fastest language you have in mind. So, okay, these are my expectations. What are the expectations I have for this language? Okay, for Python, if you do, if you have to develop an application, um, you can execute in your computer. Okay, but let's try to sell this to uh, clients. So you made a program, okay, it's very beautiful. You then sell it to your client or you put available online. And with Python, you have to have Python installed in the machine <laughs> to execute your code, right? And the executable, you have to provide the source code so people can reverse engineer your don't have to reverse engineer, they can just open the source file. There are some ways to uh, make the code more difficult to, to reverse engineer, but okay, it's, it's slower, it's hard to execute in all of the platforms, distribute an installer, an executable for Windows, Linux, Mac, and without the person have to install Python first. Okay, you can ship Python uh, with your executable, but the size will be higher. And you have to pack all of the modules that you have, um, that you used. So there's a lot of thing you have to do 
for packaging and deploying your program. Okay, so now you made your program work for desktop. Now you have to deploy it to Android or iOS. Well, you have to start all over because probably the library you used is not executable on the Android phone. So then you can choose Kiwi and B, Beware and whatever. You have to start all over again, learn a new framework. And even with Kiwi, <laughs> you have some problems trying to compile it for Android and all of that. So it's not an easy task. So with WLAN, I want to execute this code everywhere and how I do that, how I'm planning to do that. So WLAN can be converted to any language. So let me give you an example. So do you see this main.w? Okay, let's convert it to C. So uh, here you say uh, set default lang equals C. Then you execute. Okay. Then the source code is available here. So you have the same program but written in C. You see that? Okay, let's try another language. Set default lang to JS. Maybe you want to deploy it to uh, the web. So, okay, let's try main.w. Then we have the JS, so main.js, and you have this same, uh, the same program but written in JS. See how easy is that to deploy it if for the web, for Android, for whatever you want? Okay, you want to use Flutter. Okay, Flutter uses Dart. Let's try to convert it to Dart. So, wlang set default lang equal Dart. Okay, let's execute that. Okay, it's running. Source uh, main.dart. So here you have the same code written in Dart. Oh, you want to deploy it um, to PlayStation or Xbox. Well, we can do it many, many languages, C, but Hax is another language that you can use to uh, develop games for consoles using the K project. So let's try to convert it to Hax. So wlang set default lang uh, equals Hax. Um, I, I wrote something, default link. Okay, it worked. So main.c, main.w. Okay, hacks is a little slower. But it already converted the, the source code. It's just trying to execute that. So, okay, let's try to, I don't know how much it will take, but let's, uh, let's see projects, uh, dev log, dev one. Okay, and here you can see main.hx, which is the equivalent hacks code for this. Do you see the language? Oh, now it finished executing. So you see, each language has its advantages. Uh, you can different portability settings, uh, different target platforms, and with WLANG you can target all of that and you can even convert it to Python. Uh, you can run this into interpreter mode or compile the code. So this is just some features of WLANG and what are my expectations for this language. I'm also developing um, a UI, the, the library for graphical user interface, to be compatible with all of these frameworks. So you don't 
just to move uh, from one platform to another, you don't have to uh, change your code to adapt to a different framework. There will be a library that will do that automatically for you. And it's already working. I will show, this is taking long, so I, I will show some other features in my future videos, okay? I hope you like my project, so let me show you one last thing. This is the repository I made in GitHub. So if you want to, to, uh, to see the source code and to join the discussions for feature requests, for new um, languages, new framework support and issues you have with the language. So all of that will be here in my repository. So if you like this project and you want to see it uh, go <laughs> to take off, then go to this GitHub repo and please leave me a star and you can watch this to see the changes I make to this uh, language and all of that. Okay, I hope you like this video and my project and I'll see you in the next devlog. So see you then. Bye bye.